Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I have a unboxing and review for you. The Cycle Torch Shark 500 bike light. So I'm going to do a little unboxing for you now. Let me change the angle. Hold on. That looks like the rear red light. This comes with two lights, a front light and a rear light. pre-charged, which is cool. This must be the charging wire. These are the mounting items. Nicely packaged. Everything was nicely packaged in there. Foam protects it in shipment. This is your USB charging wire, USB to micro. So let me get a full charge on this just in case it's not completely charged. There's a little that covers the port, that way no water gets in the electronics. And then luckily I have an outlet right here. So it also comes with a mini wire, so you can decide which length you need. And you can charge both simultaneously, which is what I'm going to do right now. This one opens, it's got a little pull tab on it, a little rubber pull tab. Connect that. And I'll plug this in too. The specs on this guy, Cycle Torch Shark 500, it's only 100 grams in weight. It is 500 lumens, so it should be brighter than my stem light uh, from Zeus, because that's, I think, around 300. Uh, it's very lightweight, it looks like it clips on pretty easily. The rear has a few different blink settings, so you can pick which one, you know, is best for you. So I guess now that the game is to just wait and see once it's fully charged up and take it out for a ride at night. And then once we do that, I'll report back with my full review.
Michael Torch Shark 500 Nighttime test Going with the solid light And we're off It's a little bit rainy today so I'm gonna be wet. Try to get to a dark spot so you can see the power of the light. I gotta say it's pretty good. I mean, New York City is pretty bright to begin with, so you almost don't even need a light here, but, you know, always better to be safe. So this is a spot where you'll really see the difference because right here, there's no light. So there's the cycle torch, right? Now I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to show you my built-in headlight as a difference. All right, there's the built-in light. It's a wider spread, not quite as bright. Right? This one I mean, you can, you can aim it wherever you like. But I gotta say, this is pretty, pretty powerful. And you know, riding at night in New York City is, is kind of more about being seen than actually seeing because you're always gonna have a great ambient light here in New York City, but not everyone is gonna see you. So if you have a nice bright light like this at 500 lumen, you're gonna be seen and that's what matters the most.
So you can find this light on Amazon. It ranges between like $30 and $50. On the plus column, really bright, really lightweight, easy to store. You can pack it in your bag very easily. The only negative is that there's no instructions that come with it, but everything's pretty self-explanatory. You know, long press to turn it on, long press to turn it off. Uh, single click through all the blinking functions and very easy installation system with the rubber snap harnesses. My review is this is better than my built-in light. It's brighter. I can angle it wherever I want. My built-in light is at a fixed position in a fixed angle. So it basically lights the ground in front of me, which is great. But with this, I can light a little bit higher and I can get more reflection off of those signs and traffic will be able to see me a little bit better. In New York City, a light is a little bit superfluous, but it's great to be seen with a really bright light like this at 500 lumen. And even if I wanna stick with my built-in light on my Zeus bike, I can use this for my second bike, which is coming in the spring, the Chimera. So in summary, this is a great light. This is a great light system with the front and the rear, and I say it's a buy. Thanks for watching. As always, tell your friends, tell your grandma.